have been many milestones in my life that have brought me to where I am today after this icebreaker. But to fill the time slot for today, I will share the three most important ones that stand out. The first one was laid even before I was born. My parents, Teresa and Sengai Hansa, got married as soon as they attained legal marriageable age and got their first jobs. A year afterwards, my other brother Vijay, who was two years older to me, was born. He was a month premature and this was the year 1976. Now, we are talking about this in the late 70s in a small suburb called Anbar, which was in the then Bihar and now Jharkhand. For uh, all of us, it's like the notion of child marriage and family planning is just sort of starting to trickle down in small towns of the country. We all know for a young couple, the uh, birth of a firstborn is a big event. But for a young working couple with a firstborn that is premature, it's anyone's guess. My parents moved heaven and earth to make sure that their child got healthy and proper upbringing. So by the time I was ready to pop out, they came to few major decisions, or rather say, let's say choices. First, they will take all the necessary precautions that goes into prenatal care so that they don't have to spread anything extra on postnatal period. Second, they would have these two kids in the family. Third, they wanted a girl. They tell me that I came into this world in August 28, 1978, kicking my, uh, kicking away with gusto and screaming my lungs out. <laughs> that I was boy, a boy, did not deter them from teaching me cooking, stitching, <laughs> stitching, knitting, and anything they wanted to teach their daughter. If it was me. Today, I'm self-sufficient in those areas of my life. Their meticulous planning transformed onto me and has morphed into a mild form of obsessive compulsive disorder. Yes, I do notice those creases. And I can notice the shaking of my voice too. It takes me more than half an hour or sometimes even a one full day to prepare for an overnight trip. The second landmark is what I would call the Great Indian Dream. It was the year 1991 and Doodarshan was the only one of the main forms of entertainment that we had. There was a German series with a voiceover that talked about hacking and computers. Now, I was just a teenager who didn't know what this looked like. But I wanted to do just that. Not hacking, but type on a black screen with green text crawling by. For me, coming from the suburb, it represented that I could do mundane tasks and automate them. Where every uh, task in a small suburb looked like an act of human will and determination. So when the computer courses were announced in our school, I announced to my parents. And they said, well, I can do that if I manage to get distinctions for the rest of the course and would take care of the laundry, pressing up his clothes, and make the beds. The school breezed by, so did the college, and I got into regional, institute, uh, regional engineering college in Trichy, came out with an engineering de uh, degree, and got into Hewlett Packard as a UNH program. Dreams do come true if you know how to chase them. My third milestone is not really a milestone. It's a sharp right turn into self-realization. And I leave, let my good friend, my alter ego, tell about this. <coughs> you heard Sanjay ranting about all his successes. But what you do not know is that he is vain. <laughs> After God getting into work, his head was so high in the clouds that he could rarely see terra firma. So he needed a sharp jolt. That jolt came in form of his first major accident.
This is Sanjay with his left hand broken and his thumb dislocated. He managed to get it fixed but it still has a weak grasp. Things did not sink in for him. So for it to sink in firmly, he had to actually have a slip disc in the year 2006. Things couldn't have been any depressing for him, isn't it? So that gave him a realization that working uh, in every waking hour and partying hard through the night isn't what life is all about. There is more to life. There is more in life to be seen. So what does Sanjay do today? I, you know, we, uh, well, we uh, spend our time running for long distances or preparing for long distances, getting into the Toastmaster ceremonies, reading voraciously, and all the things that my parents taught to their daughter if they had one. And why do I do all this? I, pass, I will pass through this life but once. And one day my life will flash before my eyes. I'm going to make sure that it's worth watching. Over to you, those ones.